off-grid, tiny home, off-road, overland trailer. Um, it's got clearance, it's got the tiny home feel, so let's take a deeper dive and check it out. What's up everyone? Well, it's a snowy day here in Bend, Oregon, and we're here hanging, camping with Keith Co. We're gonna check out his camper. Who's making all that racket out there? Oh shoot, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so this thing, well, it's just got a lot of character. Right, Keith? It sure does. Oh yeah, man. It's a cold one here, ain't it? It is a little chilly. Winter's knocking on the door. It's snowing. We got a little bit of snow last night. Just a little. But we were nice and comfy in our little homes here. Definitely. But yeah, tell us about your home, Keith. You built this thing. I did. It's pretty um, cool. Started life as an old home-built yard trailer. Um, basically, you redid everything, the decking, suspension. Yeah, it's been quite the project, quite the undertaking. And all the little trinkets, the mailbox. You were checking your mailbox the other day. People didn't leave you any notes, huh? No mail, man. If you see Keith Coe rolling around Oregon or wherever, leave him a note, right? Or a beer, whatever. Or a beer. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so you got the fly fishing rod on the side, and then a lot of this is like reclaimed wood, right? Like, so this, or it's like this is all pallet reused. siding. Okay, cool. Yeah. Um. So each each individual one is like two two slats off a pallet. Yeah, that's awesome. So they're all different. Took a painstaking amount of time yeah. to find the perfect palette, you know. Well, it looks like you put a lot of time into it for sure. That's what's cool about it. And then the window or whatever, I would imagine that's like reclaimed from where'd you get that? Where'd you get all this stuff? <laughs> uh, <laughs> my friend Kate Seeley and Crested Butte gave me that window. Nice. Yeah. That's awesome, man. So, yeah, this side looks really cool. You got the deck on the back. These little things flip down, right? So that's that's just a fun okay, little camp. So you get a little more, a little more room for your shoes or whatever you gotta put on there. And then these are uh, these are all storage drawers. They're locked up now, but so that pulls out and this pulls all the way out as well. Nice. Um, it's basically built like a pickup truck camper. So I mean, I have just like the center, you know, center aisle way inside, um, and then everything on this side is storage. Uh, there's actually storage underneath those kitchen drawers as well. Um, and then over on this side, I have a water tank, uh, two deep cycle batteries, and then one's open still. Um, might get a little diesel heater for in there, vented inside. Nice. Um, you got the propane one right now, right? I do, yeah. It's a Olympus catalytic uh, heater. Um, and then this whole side's going to tumble out, and my couch is here. So the back of the couch will actually drop down. Uh, walls will flip up and then I'll have canvas uh, rolled down so I can sleep. It'll be a full double um, inside. Yeah. And then of course the outside propane uh, shower, um, which I'm really looking forward to having. After yeah. Living in it for four years with no hot water, <laughs> I, I think I deserve a little upgrade. Showers are good. Um, yeah. Totally yeah, I was good. here when you were just building this last. Yep. yep. It was fun to see you just building stuff, just like Trying piecing to it together. It out Holy f is this really happening? And the front window too is a new thing. Yeah, from bigger, last time. The yeah. bigger front window. But yeah, this uh, this is all an add-on. Mm -hmm. Um the old trailer it was cut. So a big we got a kid put a, a sleeve in here and then reinforce it with this big ass I beam. Whoa. Um yeah. this is actually the the old tub of the trailer was starting to bend itself up like this. Jeez. Because I mobbed too hard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, Keith's down to mob. Definitely. We got some clips of that insert yeah. here. Oh, we're gonna mob. Whoa, we did the Keith cut. Oh, we're gonna hit the branch out. Oh, I felt some mobbing coming on. <laughs> I 
have a, I don't have any solar on it. I do have a generator, a Not Honda 900 in this box. Um, so I can fire that up and plug it in um, when I need to. But, uh, but yeah, these were the ones you were fitting up last time I was there. Yeah. And it was, those just pop open well, from, so. from the inside. Yeah, yeah, we'll pop them open from the inside. But Security. Yeah, that's cool. And the old Dodge Cummins pulling it. And of course, <laughs> of course, Keith Co. on Instagram. But look at that. Thank you for your patience. Yeah. Yeah, the truck's been good. They're a lot of fun. I do, uh, I do construction pretty much full time, handyman type stuff. So it's nice, you know, having the trailer set in the woods and the, the truck with all the backseat delete, all the tool cases. Big custom center console. Um, oh yeah, your console is sick, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that thing's cool. Yeah, tons more storage in that jump oh, seat. Yeah. yeah, the old 24 valve Cummins hanging out. Yep. Yeah, it's a good truck. Your rack is a beast. You can't really see it much. There's a little kayak up there and you got some skis, right? And yeah. Dirt bike and the bicycle. <laughs> Too much stuff. <laughs> well, it's like me. I got stuff hanging all off my rig too. Flag pole mount. Yeah, it's cool. Oh yeah, and the Indians got you, right? Oh yeah. Yeah. I was involved in a ride by. <laughs> <laughs> I was on the Oregon Trail. And they lit me up. <laughs> well, without further ado, should we go inside? Sure. I mean, are we invited? Yeah, Can we cool. come? Come on in. <laughs> Sweet. So yeah, a couple pieces of carpet. A little, little step there. Step there. Oh. And we're in the Dodge Lodge. Cool. It's, uh... He's cool. It's a nice big home. It is very roomy for me. I'll eventually have a little, this will slide out and I will have a little sink in here. Um, that's all still kind of in the works. Um, but yeah, tons of storage, which is obviously, you know, a big, a big challenge in a small rig. For um, sure. Yeah, and then all these little shelves fold down. Um, so when I'm in camp, I have a little more storage on the shelves. Um, and then the, this desk uh, pulls out all the way. Um, TV, and then I have storage down below here too. Uh, it works pretty good. And then um, this section of the roof is actually a pop top. Uh, so this hinges um, like a Westphalia. Nice. Um, but I'll eventually have it go straight up and then I'll have a full loft um, up top. Probably just like a little little opening here to climb up or something like that. Um, so. Yeah, that would be cool. Yeah. With another bed up there, loft, mm -hmm. yeah. So then you could have the designated couch and then, you know, the bed upstairs. Yeah. These pieces of art, too, you were telling me about. These are so cool. These are on uh, metal, yeah. right? Yeah, they're printed on aluminum, so they're, like, pretty much off-road proof. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah just falling off and yeah. moving all around. But, yeah, Olympus catalytic heater. Uh, it's on a swivel. Um, it works really good. It gets cooking in here pretty quick. I definitely like something down low, though, because the floor will be freezing cold and about waist height it'll be 70 and head heights like 100 degrees yeah so, <laughs> you really can't regulate it too much in here but um i just added two inch insulation under the floor uh, last winter so that's nice. really been helping out nice and then this all this is a really cool feature the junk drawer into the stick the hang the organizational tree yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah i love all the little trinkets you yeah. know, on the outside, and then you come in, and you're like, yeah. whoa, there's more. And then all the pictures over here of, like, yeah. your old rigs and stuff. and yeah. Yeah, that's Little storage cool. out there, little cigar boxes up there. Oh, yeah, those they're, are cool. They're always hiding out. Those are way cool. Yeah, that's my, uh, yeah. my hardware drawer, camper hardware, and then little office supplies and colored pencils. Nice. Yeah. And then these are the... Into the doors, right? Just push yeah, them. Just push them right out. Nice. Look at that. So you can really open it up, which is 
Wow. It will. Nice. A little fan and. Yeah. 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 Real simple power inside. Just have an inverter. Run to a power strip to do everything on this side. Uh, little goal zero lights, TV, um, and then it has a USB out on the charge controller, so I can. I just have chain USB lights above you too. Uh, oh yeah, nice right here. The goal zeros. <laughs> these ceilings are magnetic, so you can move it. Oh no way! Kind of move it all around. So if you're working at the desk, you can slide it out or. Where'd my phone go? Whatever. Look. Magnetic. Dude, you gotta get one of these magnets. You could watch TV. Oh yeah. Like in your bed, right that, there. That's perfect. Or my YouTube video, Down to Mob Overland. Subscribe. Oh, anyways. <laughs> <laughs> I think mean, that's um, pretty much it for in here. But yeah, the copper. This yeah. is like copper, right? Yeah, yeah copper cool. sheet. Um, Storage <laughs> Actually, these shelves, I've redone this entire shelf system like four different times. Um, and then I added a little, uh, a little bread box. Oh, so cool. that slides out, and that's my little, nice. my little bread box in there. And like I said, these all just, uh, these all fold down, spice rack, and jars up there. Oh, cool. Wow, that's yeah. awesome. Looks like I, I got, have never seen that. I got to reattach one, one bounced off, I guess. <laughs> Dude, that's awesome. Yeah. So, yeah, it works pretty good. And yeah, like, it's pretty, it's pretty well organized, yeah. like. Maybe even it's not like you, you know you figure something out and then you change it and yeah then tear it apart and change it again and that's one of the the benefits of building it all out of wood and doing it yourself. Um, you know if I don't like something I can rip it apart and change it and yeah you know yeah it's pretty cool. I mean so how long did it take you to build this? Um, I've I've been in it about almost four years now. Um, so. I mean, bear frame, bear cabin went up in a few days. Yeah. And then changing stuff and pulling stuff apart and I mean everything. The, this back door setup is like I think the fourth door that's been on it. Oh, um, nice. Like you know, when you were over last time, I was tearing this whole front was torn apart and this side yeah. was all torn apart. Yeah. Um, and now I have to tear the roof apart to do the new pop top. But yeah. It's fun too. I mean kind of learn as you go and figure out what works and what doesn't work and then improve a little bit on it yeah for sure well and like if you buy a camper and stuff's breaking and you have to figure out how to fix it and you didn't build it yeah that might be harder yep. than if you did build it but um mm -hmm. a lot of people i think glamorize too like building a camper as being this super fun like it'll be so great i'll save all this money and yeah. it'll be quick and to be honest you don't save any money yeah um, it would have been a lot cheaper to get a you know a regular old bumper pull trailer, um, yeah, or or something like that. But I mean, at the end of the day, you're you're still not paying rent, so yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you got to put some money into the house. It's you know it's fine. Yeah, and you've been like full time out of this for a while now, huh? Yeah, four years. Nice. Yeah, yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, first night I slept in it, I had a I had the side boxes built. Yeah. And this center aisle, and I just put a tarp over it and slept right down on the floor. Nice. <laughs> That's awesome. So, moved up a little bit to the couch. Now, hopefully, I'll move up a little bit more to the loft, the, pit, the penthouse. <laughs> He's uh, going up in the world. Yeah, moving on up, for sure. Yeah, and that's a good lesson, too, is, like, you just, just got to work with what you got. And yeah. Sometimes you realize you don't, you want even less or, like, mm -hmm. Absolutely. You, yeah, you can tune it in a lot better, I think, when you have less to start out yeah. than... If you start out with some huge motorhome or something and you're just like, yeah, I need all this. And you yeah. just think, yeah. I like to go where I want to be able to go too. I mean, as long as the truck will yeah. go somewhere, this thing will just bounce along behind it. So. Yeah. Well, and that's the thing. A bumper pull, you know, Jayco Baja or some kind mm -hmm. of thing would probably be cheaper. But at the end of the day, those are they going to, like, you're going to wheel this. You're totally. going to off-road this. Like, yeah. so is that going to hold up? Mm -hmm. And this... Yeah, I don't know. That's that's cool, man. It makes me want to build something like that for sure. Mm -hmm. Made Tobias want to build something like that, which you helped with. I did, yeah. That thing turned out awesome. That thing is sick. You used yeah. a rooftop tent for the pop top, and we're going to do a uh, walk around of that later. So you check that out too. What else do we need to tell these people about your awesome home, Keith? Other than do this shot, because this is cool. Yeah, what up? <laughs> but, uh, yeah, 
stand, being able to stand up was super important for me, so it's, you know, yeah, it's comfortable. Yeah, no, I get that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> This paneling is actually down, so you actually have... Oh, wow, I can actually. Yeah, you have a little bit more. <laughs> That's but, funny, uh, man. Yeah, I don't know. Nothing else in here, really. I just have a little closet over here. A little closet. Oh, jeez, bought my head. Nice. Little closet. That's little, actually nice. I don't have... Little, I don't have... Little built-in cargo compartments for random stuff, too. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, that's... I love a wood-burning stove in it, but I'd have to get rid of the closet, and it's like... Yeah. You could put one right here, but then you wouldn't really have as much of prep. But then the heat's right? up top anyway, which is yeah. why yeah. why I have that heater. So it's yeah. Ah, yeah. <laughs> Bottle opener. Oh my gosh, that little thing. Bottle opener. That's way too cool. Yeah. Yeah, you gotta have the magnets. Oh, dude, nice mountain bike pick. Nice big dual crown. The old buggies. Yeah, dude. <laughs> Sweet. Well, thanks for having me over, man. No problem, Phil. Hell yeah. Anytime, man. <laughs> well, let's get on out of here and I don't know. We're going to mob, right? I guess so. We got to show these people some videos of this thing mobbing, too. It gets it. But yeah, follow Keith Co. on Instagram. Yeah. And, I, uh, uh, I definitely mess with van builds and, you know, things like that. Definitely yeah. builds that are a little more, a little more tough and... You know, men didn't get knocked around. Yeah. Band builds and things. Willing totally. to work for Overland Fun. You know it. <laughs> and subscribe here. You got to see all these adventures and things. Give, give me a comment. Let me know what you think of this thing. And the question always is, are you down to mob? <laughs> Woo. Later. Yeah, buddy. Ah!